We talk at least two to three times a day. I'll get a call in the morning. Noah, yeah, what are you doing? Uh, going to practice, going to practice mom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, I'll call you later. <laughs> three minutes later. Noah, yes, I forgot why I called you. <laughs> What's up, GQ? I'm Noah Lyles, and these are my 10 essentials. So, first item is my phone. It's a standard iPhone 11. Of course, I got my case, and it actually has Tokyo on it. You know, Tokyo Olympics. I had to get a phone case that was like, yeah, I'm punching my ticket to Tokyo, so that definitely had to be a thing. So my screensaver has, I will be the 2021 three-time Olympic gold medalist. And that is the screensaver on my iPhone. I visualize it and then make it a reality. The thing that I probably use it the most for, two things, music and reading manga. I'm a huge anime fan. <laughs> I can't get enough of it. All my friends are into it. I grew up on it since I was like probably like 13 all the way up to now. It's been getting like more and more popular, but I feel like we were the generation that really set it off. I'm going out there with anime socks. Like, this is my love. <laughs> In the early days, I used to read it on websites because they didn't have apps for it yet because it wasn't that popular. And then eventually became popular enough where you can just go out and read it on apps. So now I have like three different streaming services for anime. Like it is taken very serious in my house. <laughs> my Nintendo Switch is next. I also play a lot of video games, but my Nintendo Switch is probably my best travel tool. I remember I was actually on a plane ride flying to Robot and this girl had a Switch and she was playing Mario Kart and I pulled out mine and we didn't speak the same language, but she knew that we were about to play Mario Kart. We set up a game and ah uh, yeah, I whooped that little girl's butt. <laughs> Next item, my Omega watch. I actually have four watches. I'm actually sponsored by Omega Watches. They gave this to me after I won World Championships because I asked for a diamond encrusted um, <laughs> watch. Because I was like, you know, all the cool people have it, all the rappers and the rich guys have it, you know, I want one. <laughs> so they gave one to me and I was like super shocked. And then they sent me another one. This one is really cool because I think they only made like a little over 2,000 of them. This one is the 2,000th and 20th, standing for 2020. They were just planning to give this to me when I made the 2020 Olympic team. Of course, it didn't happen, but it was still really cool to see. This is definitely a watch that I plan on giving this to probably my kids. It's just a really good timepiece that I'm like dear to my heart. If I lost this one, I would be heartbroken. <laughs> What's really cool is that Omega is the sponsor of the Olympics. They actually make the blocks that we start in. I'm always ready when the Olympics comes. I'm like, oh yeah, these blocks, <laughs> I know them. You guys are just playing in them. Let's move into something more fun. Raisin Bran Crunch, a necessity of all necessities. I'm an athlete, as most people know, and because we have dietary restrictions, you know, trying to not to eat a lot of sugar or go out and, you know, crunch on some donuts, I got onto cereal. So every night I would start eating a bowl of cereal. And I was really into Raisin Bran, but then they came out with Raisin Bran Crunch and I was just all over it. <laughs> Everybody mocks me because it's like, yo, this is an old people cereal. And I'm like, but have you tried it though? <laughs> and they're like, I mean, I haven't tried that one. Then I don't want to hear it because <laughs> the crunch makes all the difference. All right, next. So this looks like a blank page, but this is actually my sketchbook and I just lost the front cover. <laughs> I've had this sketchbook since 2015. Since they have a lot of pages, you just end up, you know, keeping them for a while. And I've actually had a lot of ideas come out of this sketchbook, but I always have a sketchbook around because I'm an artist. I love to doodle, I love to draw, I love to paint. I got like skateboards at home that I've painted, but I, of course I have to draw them first before I can get them out there. I got all different types. I think I got pencil, color pencil, oil pastel in here. Oh yeah, this one was made with like color pencil and oil pastel. This is Kaneki from Tokyo Ghoul. Anybody, you know, all my anime lovers will know who that is. <laughs> You know, I've been doing art classes, all types of different mediums since I was probably like, shoot, five years old. These are my Y3 boots. 
These puppies go with almost all my outfits. I could be literally thinking of like the best outfit and I'm like, I don't got the right shoes. And I'll just be like, you know what? I'm gonna just grab these. I remember when I first got them because I was at the Adidas headquarters. They were like, we only have one more pair of these. And I was like, well, what size are they? And they're like, they're nine. And I'm like, oh, I only wear like size 11 to 12. But in the black community, when, <laughs> When your mom always tells you to get a size up so she doesn't have to buy you more. <laughs> I had put in my head that I was a size 12. It wasn't until I went to Adidas and I kept saying, you know, these shoes don't fit. <laughs> and then they told me I was a size nine and I didn't believe them <laughs> until they said these are a size nine. And I was like, well, let me just put them on to see if they fit. Best believe that they fit very snugly. <laughs> I was heartbroken and happy at the same time. <laughs> this is my 23rd birthday gift to myself. I started realizing that I had to start, you know, getting myself birthday gifts. So I was like, I wanna go big. And I had wanted a Cuban link for a long time. So I was just like, I'm not just gonna get a regular one. I'm gonna get a rose gold diamond encrusted Cuban link. It's beautiful. This is one of my favorite things. Uh, my friend told me I had to name it, so. Her name is Cleopatra. <laughs> uh, my mom says that she gonna steal it from me, so it's under safe watch and guard. <laughs> this is like my showroom piece. Whenever I'm putting together a really good outfit, I'm like, I want you know, people to look at me. I put on Cleopatra, it's a done deal. <laughs> Keeping on the anime trend, my next item is my socks. Now, I bought these specific socks because this is what I ran my fastest 200 meter time in. I became the fourth fastest man ever to live in the 200 in these socks. They're the ones that got the title right now. They're the best ones, so you know they get to come out and they get to be on GQ. I have a sock for every occasion, every mood. Socks are very important to me. So, you know, having the right sock, especially when I step out on the track, is a must have. I need the material to be like thicker. I don't want it to be moving around in my spikes. There's like a 50-50 split in the track world on if you should wear socks with spikes. <laughs> I'm somebody who believes that you should wear socks with spikes. So I wanna make sure that my foot is not jostling around and you know getting agitated. So I wear thicker socks. Sometimes I'll have Dragon Ball Z socks. Sometimes I'll have Mortal Kombat. You know, it's all dependent on like what I want the theme to be for that race. For regular socks, Oh man, I'm really into floral. So if I see a lot of floral patterns, I'll be instantly grabbing those. Or if I see colors that are like bright, you know, you might see somebody with like SpongeBob socks. I'll be like, yeah, where'd you get those? I want those. Get to my laptop here. I brought my laptop because just like I do art, I also like to make music. I also like to play video games with my friends. I also like to do digital design and having a laptop that can do all that is very important to me. I was gifted with this laptop by Intel and they gave it to me for the theme of the Tokyo Olympics. So this has become like my most used thing <laughs> in the house. It's actually half touch screen and it's a tablet at the same time. It's my go-to everything computer. Yeah, just Come on in. So this is my final essential, my family, my brother Josephus, my mom, Keisha Bishop. Basically we've been through everything together. My brother also runs for Adidas. We train together. We've been training since we both started track back in like 12, 13. We've never not lived together. So out of 23 and 22 years, you know, we're ride or dies <laughs> at this point. <laughs> and then of course my mom, who's, you know, always been there for me. She's definitely my moral support. We talk at least two to three times a day. I'll <laughs> get a call in the morning. Noah, yeah, what are you doing? Uh, going to practice. Going to practice, mom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, I'll call you later. <laughs> three minutes later, Noah, yes, I forgot why I called you. <laughs> I was supposed to tell you that I'm coming down next week. Oh, cool, mom. <laughs> We're a very strong team and we get things done together. And without them, you know, I couldn't be anywhere where I am today. All right, GQ, thanks for checking out My Essentials.